Luke is probably the happiest little boy I've ever met. He's always got a smile on his face. He's the most determined little boy I know as well. He knows what he wants and he does what he wants to be honest. When he was born, as far as I was aware, there was nothing wrong with him for the first three hours maybe. Um, and he had a rash when he was born. They did loads of tests and at three days post birth, they diagnosed him with congenital CMV. So CMV is cytomegalovirus. When we saw the neurologist after his MRI scan, they basically told us he was high risk for going blind, deaf, cerebral palsy, intellectual disabilities, and seizures. Luke, we were told, might never sit, might never do probably anything really, and it was everything was just a wait and see. So he didn't learn to sit unsupported until he was one. He's been walking properly for a couple of months. He's just gradually got better. He works hard at what he he wants and he knows what he wants. He thinks he should be able to do everything that everyone else can do and he will keep trying until he can. <laughs> Jack and Jill for me originally, a friend of mine introduced me to Sinead who is, for want of a better word, like your guardian angel. She is the best thing that's ever happened to us. Flap on her hands, she flap on her hands, flap your hands, good to be there. Having someone like that who can give him his medication and can feed him properly and things like that. There's no stress, they're qualified nurses, and you've got that extra reassurance there that who you're leaving your, your son with is well able and more confident probably than I am to look after him. But as much as anything, it gives Matthew time, and that's, that's really, you know, important. Woody's do amazing work, you know, they are supporting four charities this year. Any money that anyone can raise and help to support these charities, like Jack and Jill, you know, goes a long way. 